Well, the rising temperatures are also increasing the danger of wildfires around the state. According to the State Department of Natural Resources, there have already been more than 150 fires so far this year, including five that flared up in the last 24 hours. Now, the new fires, they are small and are spread across our state. And tonight, crews have a more than 200-acre fire in Kane County, more than 70% contained. This one was sparked last week by vehicle malfunction along Highway 89 and actually ended up burning down a couple of power poles. So the threat is already quite real and it is getting worse. New specialist Andrew Adams spoke to firefighters tonight about this hazard. Andrew? Now, firefighters say overwhelmingly the start so far have been caused by people and largely they've been preventable. And while many hillsides look a lot greener than the one behind me, looks can be deceiving. You will see these finer fuels start to dry out. With hot temperatures blowing in. Cheatgrass is already changing color. The brush is beginning to bake. Just because you see a hillside of green doesn't mean you're not seeing that underbrush. Sagebrush is next, and then your pinion juniper. Firefighters say conditions are nearly prime for wildfire season in northern Utah. I think we're going to see some things, this is my personal opinion, uh, in the next two to four weeks. Captain Paul Story says Unified Fire's wildland firefighters and their gear. We have our hand tools. Are on standby for the fires that are sure to come. Crews say two good winters plus a slow 2023 only means more to burn this time around. That fine fuel, that continuous cheat grass, that's going to actually carry the fuel, preheat those larger bushes, and then catch those on fire as well. Already, the state has seen well over 150 starts since the first of the year. And officials say nearly 90% have been started by people, with July still looming. Our main concern is uh, fireworks ignitions. Crews say cars are also starting fires, and so is target shooting. Extra reasons for caution. I'm not sure if it's on education or just carelessness. Firefighters just hope people are careful in the months ahead. We do need to do a better job at paying attention to the smaller things. Well, state firefighters say some things are just common sense, like please don't idle on top of dry brush and also make sure cars are maintained so that they don't spark. They've actually seen several roadside starts recently. Yeah. Hard to hear that nearly 90% have been started by humans. It, it's preventable. So great tips there, Andrew. Thank you. Mm -hmm.